Hi, and welcome to uh, Mr. C's Office Hours. Uh, my name is Professor Nick Carbonaro. You can find me at uh, nickcarbonaro.com, uh, YouTube, or to subscribe to this on Twitter, at NJ Carbonaro, and for my students on our uh, LBCC LMS page. Uh, you can go to lbcc.edu and search in the profile for Nick Carbonaro, and you can find me as well. Um, so I'm trying something new this semester, see if it works out. Um, every day, or every office hour, um, every Monday's office hours, not every office hours, but every Monday office hours from 5.30 to 6 p.m. So today we're starting it a little half an hour early just so that I could go over um, my GBiz 10 online syllabus for those that are out there on GBiz 10 that want to uh, uh, go through the syllabus. We're going to be going through that today. Um, but uh, on Mondays, between 5.30 and 6.30, I will turn on the live stream. And on YouTube live stream, we have the YouTube chat. And so if you have any questions regarding um, anything in the classes for all three of my classes, GBiz 10, GBiz 5, and GBiz 25, if you have any questions, just type the, uh, just type the question in YouTube uh, live chat. I will repeat the question so that everybody can see it. And then we'll go from there. And so sometimes you may have me and the box that you can me in a little box and then the, the desktop um, showing. Sometimes you'll just have the desktop. Sometimes you'll just have a uh, me. So um, today what we're going to be doing is um, probably we may cut it a little short today, but we're going to be just going over the syllabus for my GBiz 10 online class. My other classes we haven't met yet, so I doubt that you have any questions, but you may have questions regarding uh, GBiz 10 web. If you're a GBiz 10 in class, we'll be going over all this information in class as well, but uh, it's a little different for the web seminar. So if uh, you're not in my web class, you probably don't need to check into this, uh, this live stream today. Uh, my office hours are from 5 to 7 p.m. every Monday night, and then on Fridays from every 10 a.m. to 12 p.m., but I will not be live streaming on Fridays. I will not be live streaming anything after 6 p.m. on Monday as well. So we'll be doing 5.30 to 6 p.m. every Mondays. Uh, we'll be live streaming uh, the office hours. So uh, let's get started. So for those that are in GBiz 10 online, um, today's your very first day. And for this class, there, there are two components. There's two components that we have. We have the LMS page, which is the standard for Long Beach College right now, lms.lbcc.edu. The second one is My Finance Lab, so uh, pearsonmylabandmastering.com, and that's where you'll get all your uh, quizzes, tests, and homework assignments. The LMS page has our syllabus, course outline, chapter PowerPoint slides, and discussion boards. You need to do both of those things for full credit in the class. And so um, let me just show you uh, right now. I'll, I'll, I'll switch it to a student view so you could actually see what it looks like as a student. So when you log into lms.lbcc.edu, you will see uh, this front page. And on the left-hand side, you'll see all of our weeks labeled 1 to 16. There's 16 weeks in our semester. And in the center, you'll see all of our information. So this top portion, this never changes this top portion. This will always be here. And so it says, uh, Mr. Carver, welcome back from winter break. Time for another great semester, and I can't wait to start this journey with you. Before you start anything, please scroll down. So number one, we're going to go through this as a class right now. We're going to do this together. So number one is your syllabus. So download the syllabus, and I have everything open. I'm just going to pop it open when we need to get to it. But uh, uh, we have the syllabus, we have the course outline, and then we have the My Finance Lab direction. So we're going to go through all these things. Uh, we're going to go through the introduction. So you'll see one of the very first assignments you have is the introduction. And remember, everything in this class is due by 11.59 p.m. on, on Sunday um, at the very end of the week. So the school week begins that Monday, so that Sunday night everything is due. Uh, don't wait until Sunday night to ask questions at like 10 p.m., expecting me to give you an answer right away because you have the entire week to do it. I will try to answer as promptly as I can, but sometimes, I, I mean, it's Sunday night, it's 10.30 at night, I'm not checking my emails 100% uh, of the time. So if there's something urgent, you know, try to get it done throughout the week. Pace yourself so you're not just throwing everything together at the very end of the semester, at the end of the, at the, end of the week. So 
And then right here, you'll see our announcements page. So I'll post an announcement right after this video. I'll post an announcement saying that we did a live stream tonight. So we have our course resources. You go through here and you'll see every resource. So you see our syllabus, our course outline, our YouTube channel link, our My Finance Lab instructions, registration instructions, the textbook instructions, how to buy the textbook. Uh, free Dropbox, if none of you guys have Dropbox, is a great way to, to keep all your files instead of keeping a flash drive or saving them on your computer. Well, what happens if your flash drive gets lost and your computer gets wet and all your files go away? Uh, Dropbox is a cloud-based service. You get uh, two gigabytes free. Um, but if you use this link, you'll get an extra 500 megabytes of free storage. So um, I suggest you do that just for your educational purposes as well. Uh, you have your study guide. I already put your online study guide for your midterm. So as you're going through your work, you know, start using the study guide. Look through it. Start measuring stuff up. You have your learning supplements. Here are your chapter PowerPoint slides. Every PowerPoint uh, that I go through with my uh, in-class, face-to-face classes, I put PowerPoints up here for you as well. We have a class notebook. It's my Microsoft OneNote. It's my lecture notes. It's how I lecture as well in my classes. I put that on here as well for you. So take a look at this when you're doing your work as well. Take a look at your notebook. Um, that is for chapter three. You don't really need to worry about that until three weeks now. And then each week you'll see it. It'll pop up. It'll show you what we have during that week. But uh, right now we're on week one. So this week's assignment is on chapter one, the overview financial plan. Uh, please read the chapter, lecture notes, our one notebook, and follow along the chapter PowerPoint slides as you read to further understand the material. Once completed, log into My Finance Lab. I give you the link right there. And you complete the homework and the quiz, and you complete the discussion. And remember, there's two parts to the discussion. So let me just open that up real quick to show you what it looks like. So we already have some posts. Awesome. I mean, we're not even into day one, and we already got a lot of posts. So a lot of people are posting. Everybody can see these, and you are supposed to see this. This is this is one way that we make the class interactive between everybody. So I give you a prompt every week. It says, please answer the following question between two to 300 words. Uh, your response to another classmate's post should be between two to 300 words as well. So you are going to be posting one. Your classmate's going to be posting one. So why is studying personal finance important to you? Everybody is here for a different reason. Everybody is in different stages of life, and that's great because everybody has a unique experience that they can bring to this online session. Um, Oh, a question just came in. It says, uh, will we be sharing files through Dropbox? No, you will not be sharing files through Dropbox. So the question by Elias was, will we be sharing files through Dropbox? No, we won't. That is specifically just for you um, to make sure that, that you know, for any other classes, if you're doing PowerPoint um, slides for other classes, Word documentation, any word processing stuff, that you have a backup file. Most teachers, you know, if they're not tech savvy, they're not going to know about that, but teach in the computer department, I teach in the business department as well. Um, we do those things. So that's great. Thank you. Thank you so much for asking that question. No, we won't be sharing it. It's just for you personally. The only things that you will be sharing in this class are the discussion boards and your assignments and quizzes through my finance lab, but that's nobody sees those. Only me and you see the grade responses to those. So the only thing that other students in your class will see are your answers to the discussion board. But Thank you so much, Elias, for, for asking that question. Uh, as we go th as we go through this, yeah, just just drop by, drop it in any questions just like I did, and and I'll try to answer it when I see it. I'm looking at two screens right now, so hopefully I didn't get too late. But uh, yeah, so you'll you'll be going through all these things as well. So let's get let's get back to the to the home page. You can just click that link at the very top. And you have your introductions. So your introductions, it's worth four points. It's a totally separate separate grade. I just want to know more about you. This is an easy four points. If you don't do it, you get zero points. This is four points just telling a little bit about you. So you can see right here what I've done. So for me, uh, I just want to get to know you. So the first thing I want to know is uh, who's enrolled in this class. And, and uh, next, give one interesting fact about you, just so that we all know. Um, a little bit about everybody. So for me, I would say my name is Nick Carbonaro. I'm an alumni of LBCC, went to USC Marshall School of Business in Cal State Fullerton for my MBA. Uh, one interesting fact about me is that while at USC, I had the opportunity with my fraternity to travel to Nebraska and meet Warren Buffett, you know, one of the world's rich men. So um, just a little interesting fact, you know, and, and, and so that way we get to know each other a little bit more. And here you'll find your announcements page. So this is what I set up. You know, I sent it out last Tuesday, so a week ago, saying about the pre-class check checklist, and I'll be showing that as well. Those that that are enrolled later and 
and everything. Remember, class just started today. So you're not behind. If you're if you've looked at all this stuff and you've already registered and you already great. That's what was my expectation. It'll make you better prepared. Um, if not, don't worry. It's the first day of class. But the longer you wait, the more stuff gets built up, and you may not be able to keep up in this class. It is it is a lot of finance stuff. So we do build on top of each other. So meaning when we get to like chapter eight and we're talking about I think like loans and stuff like that. If you don't know time value that we talked about in chapter three, it may not make so much sense. So try to keep up on all this stuff. But yeah, let me let me go through all these documents. But before we do, do any of you guys have any questions that are out there? Um, type them in now so that I can answer them before we get through the uh, we get through the, the other documents. I'm gonna be doing that right now. So I'll wait for just one minute just to see if anybody has anything and, and we'll see. So All right, so let's move on. So a couple documents that I wanted to show you in the core resources, and I have a popped up down here. So let's go over the syllabus. Syllabus, again, um, all my information. This is your, this is your contract for the class. Has my YouTube channel link there. Has my office hours section, the required text. Now, some of you have asked, um, is there a trial for the book? Yeah, that's exactly what somebody was asking uh, for the book for my uh, until financial aid is received. Yes, there is, and I will get to that just one second when we go over the um, the options for the book. So, uh, when you purchase the book, there is a free trial period. It is a 14-day free trial period. So, if you um, if you do it, I say it's in lieu of. So, this is this is how I kind of explain it. Let's say you're going to Vegas with your buddies, and you run out of, you're about ready to run out of gas money um, and you ask your buddy for some money. And so you fill up at Barstow and then you go and you pay the person back. You, you wouldn't ask the person for money throughout the entire trip. 14 day free trial period is like that little extra gas money, right? It's to get you until your, your financial aid comes in. It's to get you until those means come in. But you do have a 14 day free trial period. I'll go through that in, in the next five, 10 minutes regarding um, the My Finance Lab registration instructions. Open that document if you want to go through it on your own. The My Finance Lab registration instructions tells you all about that. Three different options to access that My Finance Lab. The first one is through your access code, but if you purchase the book, you don't get the access code until the book comes. So some people are like, well, what do I do with that? Second, if you purchase the, the bundle, the access code will come with the book, but you don't get it until the book comes. Um, third is through that 14 day free trial period. You plug that 14 day free trial period in. When your book comes, you update it with the access code and therefore you're able to go smooth into the semester. But let's go through the syllabus real quick and then we'll we'll go through that. So um, the required textbook, there's the microsite to do it. Pearson, welcome, We're, I'm gonna log you in. I'm gonna show everybody how to do it. Our online requirements, um, lms.lbccc, what I, what I told you all before, excuse me. This online course is designed to equip students with financial literacy and the uh, psychological effects of financial decision making. So we're gonna go through all that type of stuff. We're gonna differentiate between short-term and long-term goals, calculate the cost of credit, eva evaluate various investments, assess the lifelong impact of financial decisions, all that type of stuff. Special accommodations, so we are an online class, um, so I don't think accommodation should, should necessarily need to take place just because I give you the entire week to complete all the stuff, so um, and we're not meeting in a classroom as well, but uh, all that all that type of stuff. Uh, usually for my in-class stuff, but um, but usually online you're you're paced at your own at your own self. Just as long as it's due, but before Sunday at 11:59, you have the entire week. I don't give you any. Uh, you have to post three days a week. I don't give you any of that type of stuff. I say just at the end of the week. You guys have work schedules. I have work schedules. We all we're all in the same boat with this. Attendance policy. The only attendance policy for the online is for the census dates which will be shown when I show the course outline in a second. Um, within two weeks after school starts, there's a census date. Once it goes past that date, you don't get a refund. Then there's the withdrawal date, 75% uh, of the way into the class. If you're still registered after the withdrawal date, then you, you get it. Um, 
you you get you you get the um sorry after the that you don't get your money back uh third third question came in excuse me professor will you have a set time for when you make these videos yes uh, in the very beginning of this video um i said between 5 30 and 6 p.m i will be putting these i will be live streaming this so 5 30 to 6 p.m on monday nights not not my entire four hours of office hours you guys would get bored me typing stuff away but 5 30 to 6 p.m every monday night i'll be live streaming my office hours i'll be doing this so um, yes, yeah, so then that was at the beginning, and I will post this video up in its entirety um, as well. So you have access to these videos until the end of the semester. Late assignment policies. No late assignments will be taken with my finance lab because it's so fast-paced because you have the entire week. No, no uh, late assignments will be accepted. Exams, assignments, quizzes, discussion boards. Um, no problem, Joe. Uh, no, uh, all these exams, assignments, quizzes, they're all totaled up to certain points, 800 points. So you can see here, letter grades, it's all designed. So do all the participation. If you do everything that's out there, um, shouldn't be too hard to, to get those accumulated points. If you if you haven't done so well on a, on a certain type of, uh, sorry, this, uh, this froze on me here. Let's open it back up. Very. We got the grade range, course outline. We'll go over that in a second. Exams, there will be two midterm exams. Every week you have a quiz. You have a homework assignment and a quiz. Uh, five questions each for the quizzes and stuff like that. And it says it down here. But exams, there'll be two of them, a midterm and a final. Uh, assignments, each week you'll be assigned a homework assignment worth 20 to 30 points. Some of them are worth 30, some of them are worth 20, some of them are worth 25. So each one is designed differently to, to hit the financial learning goals. Uh, your discussion boards, every week you have a discussion board. I talked about this earlier, but for your original post, you get three points. For a response, you get three points. So if you only do original posts, that's so you're only getting half credit on the discussion boards. Make sure you do those both at the same time. Uh, but during week one, you'll have an additional one. You'll have that reduction one that I showed you. So uh, during week one, there's 10 possible points for discussion. There's the three, three for your response, three for your response to somebody else, four for your introduction. So well, that's there. And then quizzes each week, you'll be asked to complete a mini quiz on my finance lab. It's usually five questions, sometimes maybe more, but um, no late quizzes again, nothing's accepted late. So that is the syllabus right there. We'll go over the course outline in a second. So if you have any questions regarding the course outline and stuff like that, uh, just hold on until after I go through all these documents and then I'll hold like a Q&A at the end. So um, you can come in there and I'll get to them, but if they're gonna be later, I'll just say, I'll be addressing it later, but type it away. We've had some good questions so far. So uh, let me get out of that syllabus. So let me go over the course outline first and then we'll, we'll go over those uh, We'll go over those, how to purchase the book and stuff. So again, this is just an easy outline for you. Week through 16 shows you what to do for each week, shows you when each quit exam is. Everything is by 11.55. So yeah, 11.55 is for LMS, 11.59 is for my finance lab. So um, just take a quick look at that. I'm, I've, LMS is an old system. We're actually moving to Canvas next semester, um, but it only allows you to go on the, on the fives. So 55 midnight. So. Um, it'll be by 11.55, just so that it's in before the date, because then you have people questioning it. Oh, is midnight on Monday or is midnight on Sunday? And so 11.55, just get it in before 11.55. Hopefully you're not waiting till five minutes before the night. So all that's there. All assignments, quizzes administered through my finance lab. All discussion board questions are administered through LMS. So you'll find your discussions on LMS. You'll find your homework assignments on my finance lab. Grades will be updated via Moodle by Wednesday of the following week. So usually I'll get them in by Monday. Um, majority of the time uh, during my office hours, those that first half hour will be dedicated to me grading for your your my finance lab, your your discussion questions and everything. And then that second half hour, you can ask me questions on stuff, and and we can kind of go through stuff like that. So that's why I have um, that first half hour is dedicated. So between five and five thirty, I'm grading stuff. I'm checking my emails making sure everything's there once 5.30 to 6, that's when we're doing our, our online office hours. But remember, this YouTube isn't required. It's not a required live stream, but it is it is beneficial. Hopefully it is beneficial to you. So grades will be updated, like I just said. 
you'll be able to see your grade instantaneously through My Finance Lab. So all your grades through My Finance Lab are graded on the curve. They're not graded on anything like that. You have a whole week to to get your to get your material read and stuff. So you'll see your grades. I just transpose the grades. I just put them on LMS to find your total grade. So don't look at My Finance Lab for your total course grade, but you can look at it for your individual grades, meaning your assignments, your quizzes, your exams, those will be in there, but your total grade won't be in there because your discussion boards are graded on LMS and all your grades are posted on LMS. So make sure you're looking at your grades through LMS. Uh, drop with a no-show or NA with full refund. So by Monday, 2-20-2017, 20, uh, drop if this class isn't for you. Now, I know some teachers will drop you if you haven't done any activity. For me, I'm all about personal responsibility. I didn't register you for this course. I shouldn't drop you for this course. Some people work on their own things. They do other stuff. I don't know. Um, but for me, I didn't like people tampering with my registration. So I, I'm going to um, do that same thing for you guys. So if you don't do any work and you're still right and you're, you come on to me at two on um, February 21st and say, Mr. C, you never dropped me. Why didn't you drop me? I didn't do any work. And I'm going to say, well, I didn't register you. So why would I drop you? So um, make sure you're looking at that if you want to drop. Hopefully, if you're keeping up, you're not going to need to drop. Drop with a W, so say May 7th. If you're, uh, if you're dropping um, anybody in my, anybody enrolled on May 8th, they're, they're, they're going to get a grade no matter what. Um, on or after May 8th, all students are able to receive a grade. So, so perfect with that. Any questions on the course outline? Before I go, are live stream videos recorded to view at later time just in case one is missed? Yes, um, usually live streams are only accessible for four hours. However, I'm recording it at the same time and I will post those up as well. And there'll be a playlist on my YouTube channel to differentiate the classes. So there'll be a GBiz 5, there'll be a GBiz 10 web, and then there'll be a GBiz 10 face to face and the GBiz 25. So I'll, I'll have a few different playlists. So you can just go to your playlist and access that and each live stream will have the date on them for you as well. So I'm gonna to try to record this. Like I said, this is my first time doing this and I teach social media, so I should be fluent at this, but technology changes. So um, hopefully we'll see if it works out. And if you guys like it, then keep giving me positive comments on it. If you're, if you're not so interested and it's just a waste of time, then I will be doing them. I don't wanna waste your time. I don't wanna waste my time. But, um, but yeah, I think they'll be beneficial. I think they'll be beneficial, especially to those that are online. So um, on after, May 8th, so you'll receive a grade. So we'll go through that. All right, so your textbook instructions. I had a couple people email me say, I don't know really how to buy the textbook, what's going on, so let me show you right now. So this is huge, right here. Anything in our class, do not use Internet Explorer. Internet Explorer is crap. It is, it's a, it's a, it's a free web browser, don't use it, right? Google Chrome is where it's at. Use Google Chrome. If you have to you use Mozilla Firefox, I'm not a big Firefox person, but but Chrome is is right now the best for this class. So use my use Microsoft Chrome. Use Google Chrome. Don't use Internet Explorer. If you're using Internet Explorer, you will run into snags because it's not coded properly. It's not coded for all the all the power of my finance lab. So don't use uh, my uh, Internet Explorer or Edge. Microsoft Edge is the new one with Windows 10. Edge is just the Internet Explorer right now. So until they get their kinks out of the way, um, don't worry about that. Google Chrome is where it's at. Here are the credentials for this thing. So Pearson and welcome. So username Pearson, password welcome. So if you go to it, you know, you could just control to click to follow the link. We'll open that up and it opens it up. So again, the username is Pearson, so we'll just type in Pearson and welcome. The username, the password as well. Right, let's see, let's just make sure. Welcome, perfect. So we go over here and we press login. And great, you see it, it says Long Beach City College, GBiz 10, right there. So if you're looking at the bookstore, you know, brick and mortars are kind of go in the way of the past, right? I mean, we don't use CDs anymore. We download music and stuff. So same thing here. Like if you're going through a brick and mortar, you're looking at 148, 150. You know, you got to pay those those people to work it. You got to you got to pay for the brick and mortar. You got to you're, you're doing a lot of extra costs. You're doing a lot of overhead costs. So this is the first thing about my finance lab. You know, this is a financial management class. I'm going to give you the cheapest option to buy stuff. I, I know where you're coming from. I was a student. I got student and I'm paying that off as well. You know, and so we're, we're doing all those types of things. And so 
finance you, you learn as you go. And so one of the things that you could do, you know, always wherever you can save a buck, save a buck. You know, I see a lot of people, I don't want a coupon clip, I don't want to use gift cards, you know, that that's 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 for cheap people. You know what? Some of the, the richest people in the world are the cheapest people in the world. So um you, you have to save them where you can save money. So right now you're getting this book for 87 bucks, and that includes the online access. So you're getting text, online access, um, your my finance line, and you get an ebook. So you 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 get that ebook as well. So so please do that. And then you just add it to your cart. Once it's added, see, I already, I already did that one. So if you did one, because I was doing it earlier to, to test it out. And so $86.99. So then you proceed to checkout. And this is where if you if you use my Pearson, so if you use like my math lab or my Spanish lab or my, my computer lab or one of those, my BCom lab, one of those things, and you already have an account, log in. If you've never used Pearson at all, create an account, right? Cre create that account to, to do so. You create that. I'm not going to go through the whole creation process because then it asks for a credit card at the end, but you get the gist on how to do it. You do it, you buy your book, you're good. Once you purchase this book, right, this is where it comes in. So um, Elias, you were asking earlier, is there a trial for the book? This is where it comes into play. So let's say you just went through this whole process. You just bought your book, right? Let's say financial aid doesn't come in yet and, and you're still waiting to do it. You do this and then you open up this document to register for for um, our class, right? To register for our class. If you scroll down, there's select an access option. You could enter the access code that came with the textbook, but you don't have the textbook yet. You bought it online, it's probably getting shipped in. So you don't have the textbook. So you go down, buy access using credit card. No, you don't want to do that. The bundle includes the access. So you don't want to do this section right here either. You already you already bought it. It's coming in the bundle. You're just waiting, right? It's in that time frame. You know, you press ship. It doesn't. It's not Amazon Prime. They then you're shipping it to your door right away. Um, it, it takes you know three to five days, three to five business days. This is where you do. If if available, get temporary access by selecting the link near the bottom of the page. And I've and I've linked um, to you where you can get free trial access. So go through there, get your free trial access. Go through all these registration instructions. I'm not going to go through it. I've already seen people log in and stuff, so it's pretty self-explanatory when you start logging in. Um, you select student. Why? Because you're the student. Once you have confirmed it, click OK to register now. Enter your instructor's course ID. So that's the instructor's course ID. Select your username and password if you, if you haven't created one yet, um, but you already created it. If you have an account, if you have ever used Invisible, I said my lab, my master, all those other things. Clue those in there to sign in later. You know, you may want to book this, bookmark this page, uh, and then you just do your work, and then you then you do your work in there. So that's the my finance lab registration instructions. And if you have any questions with that, you know, as you go through it, just send me an email. Um, I'll see what's going on. It's best to do like you know, uh, 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 snaps of it. You know, get screenshots of it because sometimes people say I'm having trouble buying my book. Okay, what, what are you having trouble with? Is your credit card bouncing? Is is a website not working? Are you using Internet Explorer? So try to be as specific as possible. And then also there is a support line under my finance lab. Um, I, mean, I don't think it's on this page, but if you go, once you log into my finance lab, there's a support page to help you out with everything like that. And they get back to me and make sure that all our students are good. So if you don't have any other questions with that, let's, let's move on. We don't have that much left to do. I don't want to waste your time tonight. It's the first day of class. So uh, we go through there. There, let's see if we have any other documents opened up. Uh, the textbook microsite, we went through that already. So let's see, we went through the syllabus, we went through the course outline, we went to the YouTube channel, um, and I'll do that in a second. My finance lab, textbook microsite instructions, all that stuff that I went through at the early, earlier thing this semester, in the beginning of this uh, live stream. So here, this is what I sent you all earlier uh, last week. Uh, GBiz 10 web setup checklist, right? So go through this. If you're new to the class, go through all this type of stuff, log into LMS, give you the directions right there, download the syllabus, which we already went over, download the course outline, open the documents by the book. Once you purchase the book, do the My Finance Lab registration instructions, then subscribe to my YouTube channel. So you, as you can see, I know there's some people in here that are that are live chatting, which is great because um, you're, you're, you're ahead of the game. You're, you're, you're getting yourself prepared. You're, you're, you're making sure that that's there. So um, 
preparation is the key, especially in finance, right? I mean, you're dealing with numbers, you're dealing with budgets, you're dealing with income statements for yourself. So um, it's all about organization. It's all about keeping everything in line. So uh, that is what we're doing for this class, right? So uh, before before we log off, before I before I end this live stream, are there any other questions from those out there that are that are in the live stream right now? Any other questions regarding the class, regarding registration, uh, regarding anything like that? Before we uh, before we move on, before we move on, and I'll wait. I'll wait like a couple minutes to get ready. To just say no if you're on the thing. You know, just just type in no if you don't have any. Okay, great. So uh, this will end the live stream. Um, it should be up and running right after I, I put it on there. I'm going to try to figure out how to do it where my recorded stream, because I am recording this as well. So uh, I want to make sure that that's up there for you. Again, every Monday between 5.30 and 6.30. We started it earlier, this one, because I just wanted to get it out of the way so that if anybody was wondering about it, they, they can earlier. So um, every 5:30 to 6:30, we'll we'll be doing this. And if not, if I if I switch it around, I'll let you know. Um, I'll I'll give you an announcement. I'll I'll give you all a heads up saying when I'm doing it and stuff. So I may have to move it from Monday to a Friday, whatever it is. Um, but I believe you know 5:30 to 6. If you work you know nine to five type of job, you're you're right there. Uh, if if not, I mean, my background. I worked 10 years at Costco. I was in I was in management at Costco, and so I don't. I, I, you know, you hear a lot of college professors say, oh, yeah, your nine to five job, you know, you want to get graduate and get a nine to five job. I don't know any job that's nine to five besides teaching. So um, and even that's not I'm still here. If I, I mean, I set my own hours, but um, there are no more nine to five jobs out there. We're in a global economy and we have to deal with it. We have to we have to face facts and and live with it. But uh, this class will help you out. I promise you, you, you don't even know. Um, the benefits to the type of class because you're getting if you're enrolled in this class you're getting a one up on all the other students that never enrolled in personal finance i believe it should be a requirement for everybody i mean if you have to take anthropology or environmental science i don't know when you'll ever use it but personal finance no matter what major you are you're gonna be using it you're, you know money doesn't buy happiness but it buys things and you're gonna you need to eat you're gonna need to have shelter you're gonna need to be mobile you're gonna need to um have clothes, all that type of stuff. So this is where that, that class comes in. But um, other than that, I'm going to log off. I'm, I may post some videos throughout the week that aren't going to be live stream, but uh, usually probably not. I mean, um, we're going to be in class and, and doing all that type of stuff. But uh, other than that, if you have any questions, uh, you know, comment below or comment on the um, on our LMS site. Give me an email. Shoot me an email so that, so that we can figure that out. Other than that, uh, have a great, have a great, great uh, Monday. Have a great rest of the night. And I will see you all next week. All right. Have a good one.